Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Narita Boy. Last time we left off, we made it here to the Temple of the Yellow Beam. Trichroma are the three loves, love of the creator, love of motherboard, and love of Narita Boy. Help us for the cycle of cycles. I beg that my prayers are compiled and classified in labeled files pending supervision. <laughs> Alright. What's up? Okay, that's not where we needed to go. We needed to go over here. Probably into this? Yes! Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Bing, 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 bing. I'm hammering the button, I am. Praying with all my might. For this to just be a kid that had possibly never prayed before, he sure got the praying thing down super quick as soon as he became Narita Boy. Alright, more memories. Alright, there's the new one. I got one I, one of the ones I need for you. Is it this one? No, it's, it's this one. Okay, so we're on five now. I remember hearing Father battling with fury, helplessness and frustration as he took out his anger and desperation on the doctor. Yeah, so we found out last time our mom had just passed out while making noodles? Possibly, I don't know, something clearly happened. And there's mom. I remember the smell of the disinfected room and fresh flowers that still didn't manage to mask the smell of sickness. Mother was very weak, her voice a barely audible whisper. A cold winter had been unleashed inside her. Oh boy. So mom's sick. That's what we're getting from this. I remember an intense smell of incense that transports me back to that moment. I was numb, heartbroken. I remember not understanding what I felt at that time in our home. Now a great echo of pain, lacking in all signs of life. Okay. What's with the arcade machines back here? Oh no, it's the funeral. The people in my life, those people who had always been happy, were holding back their tears as they looked at me with sorrow in their eyes. I felt an emptiness where my mother had been, but the connection wasn't broken. I could still feel her, but not understand her. Oh boy. I remember the rain pouring down, splashing onto the gravestones, camouflaging my tears, drowning my heart. Oh boy. God. <sighs> Dealing with this sort of stuff is never easy. I remember hearing my father and feeling that my very soul was breaking. I'd never seen him cry. The rain drowned out everything. If father was falling apart, it could only mean that the dam of our lives had been breached. Oh god. I remember finding comfort under the umbrella of calm. That was my grandmother. I remember walking away with her and my grandfather. And there stood father, all alone, immersed in mud and tears, a figure of mire and pain. Eek. Can these get any more depressing? God. I didn't mean to do that, but let me just vomit out my sadness. Here. Alright, we've restored another one. Restart the console that manages... Find a way to access the oasis. Enter the storeroom. Find the stallion encrypted key to enter the tavern. Enter the tavern. <laughs> Search for the troop of soldiers. Find the servo horse. Head for the temple. Find the servo horse. Liberate the creator's memories from the entire region. Alright. Find the servo horse. Find the servo horse. Get hold of the access techno key to the royal stables. It's you. You did it. The creator's memory is once again flowing in the source code. Can you smell it? Here, the king asked me on the recommendation of the techno fathers to keep the key, this key in safekeeping. It's the encrypted key to the royal stables. We give you access to the place where our servo horses are resting after riding through the desert simulation. You'll notice that the stables don't smell as good as the creator's memory flowing through the trichroma. 
All right, so now we have access to the stables. Didn't mean to do that again. I was trying to run because RT and the simulations run, but we already run by default. All right, now where the hell was the place that we gotta go? Because we gotta get to that location, but I'm having a hard time remembering exactly where it was. This is the plaza. I think it was back. Yeah. Dragon. Hi. I'm gonna die because I only have one HP. There we go. Deadzo. Alright, here we go. We're back. Back again. Narita Boy's back. Tell a friend. Ow. Worth it. Okay, it's dead. Warp, warp, unsigned. Yep. Ow. How was I supposed to dodge that? I don't know how I'm supposed to dodge that. What the hell? What am I... Am I forgetting about an ability I have? Let me check. Shotgun. I guess I can, uh, dodge. Yeah, I can do the jump over it. Yeah, uppercut. That's what I'm supposed to do there. Alright. I hit you, you jerk. Oh god. We got the barons back. Ow. Eat shit. Damn it. I'm trying to hit that. Huh. Okay, this is rough. This is rough. Ow! Stop it! Oh my god, he's charging into me constantly. You bastard. Jesus. That was annoying. I was, like, trying to get away from him, but I couldn't. Oh, shit. I wasn't, I wasn't prepared for that. There we go. That's all I need to do. Right there. Hi. Okay, I got the heal. Eat shit. Eat shit. Okay, heal up again. What are you doing now? Okay, more enemies. There we go. I want to kill that asshole as quickly as possible. Heal up. Here we go. Farm some life off of those nerds. Oh god, I wasn't ready. Okay, you're coming from the right side. There we go. Left. Oh god, not left. Okay. Whew. I somehow still managed to pull that off. Die. Ow. Big damage, big DiMaggio. Okay, I think we're good. Huh, get me the hell out of here, stupid dragon. Yeah, I was like, how the hell am I supposed to dodge that? And then I was immediately like, oh yeah, that's how I'm supposed to dodge that. <laughs> it just caught me off guard is all. Womp. Yeah, you're the fist that tries to come out and punch me. So, na so now we're finally back to this place, eh? Hmm. <laughs> God cough, can you not? Alright, I think we can just walk right past that. And up here, up here, climb up in. There we go. States. Yup. And here we go. This is where we gotta go. Man. Just out here killing dragons. Call me the dragon slayer. You got here just in time. I've just finished cleaning up these bothersome blades of straw events. Welcome to the Labyrinth of the Royal Stables. The Techno Fathers and the agents of the capital have worked together to keep the Servo Horse Program safe from the destructive fury of the Stallions. Shouldn't they be Servo Camels if we're crossing a desert? For this reason, they've generated a random permutation of four rooms with six doors in each one. If you enter the false door in any of these rooms, you'll be sent back here. If you enter the true door, you'll carry on advancing until you reach the stable of the Servo Horse Program. If you reach the fifth room, you'll be able to get out of the Labyrinth and find your Servo Horse. And if you feel lost, explore the surrounding areas. You're sure to find a path that will lead you to your objective. Okay, so we're lost. We're lost woods in it. Got it. It's the lost woods. State of the Master of Royal Stables. Wait. 
Okay, where does... What does that do? So we... Hmm. I kind of feel like I want to go over there and check that out. What's the deal with you, huh? Uh... Rosetta Stable? Hi? Uh, hello. Why red? Why red paint? Why are there also people strung up in here? Hmm. So... White isn't one of the colors, right? Well, we got a white square. Okay. And yeah, this... We, we must be getting a code out of this, right? Ow. Okay, get me across there, please. Yeah, th this is a code, for sure. Oh yeah, this is like a full code. Okay, so then we got, like... Two red dots? Um... Hmm. They're more like squares, I guess. I put them- they're like squares touching at their diagonal point. And then we got- yeah, we got a blue one of you. Okay. Simple. I was about to say, I'm gonna die to that, aren't I? Yep. Um, okay, but the last one's three yellow dots. Yes. Alright, three yellow dots. Cool. Or squares. You, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I'm writing them down as dots because it's easier. <laughs> That's why I keep referring to them as dots. Alright, so through here... All right, now we go in here into the Lost Woods. Okay, so it said there should be a way for us to know. Wait, why? Square. Uh, it was what we saw in there, the solution to this room? Okay, so it said yellow dots, so let's go yellow. Then it said blue... this. Then red, like, two dots? On a diagonal from each other? Huh. Maybe I look- maybe I looked at that wrong. Maybe it's this? Nope, it wasn't that. Okay, I gotta figure out what that red means. Because all I saw was, like, two squares. But that doesn't seem to be the solution at all. So, hmm, this? No? Okay, I'm confused evidently about this. I mean, I got the solution, but that one didn't feel like it was like painted in all the way or something. Okay, so we've tried you. We've tried you, we've tried, um, was it you that we tried? I don't remember. Damn it. Let's see here. I, I think this, maybe. I think that's the one we tried. Okay, that was correct. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That was correct. And then white square, and we're done. Got it. Find the servo horse. Narita boy, a big effort deserves a big reward. Come closer and feel the strength of the servo horse, the prize steed of the yellow horse beam. Overclocked with our skills in reverse engineering. Activated by inserting the Technosword in its CPU, the Trichroma- I hope that's not in its butt. The Trichroma will rise up through its lines of code, and then you will be one and ride on the back for the freedom of the Desert Kingdom. Please don't be in your butt. I don't want to stick my Trichroma Sword in your butt. Servo Horse? Okay, it's like your middle part. Good. Yes! Let's gallop away! Clock clock, clock clock, clock clock. Let's go! Cool. Getting, uh, getting another little animal friend. Liberate the creator's memories from the entire kingdom. Yeah, so we got another memory to find. We still only found one of the backups, too. 
and Narita Boy rides into action on the servo horse, leaving the dom domains of the prog program king Numb String the horseman in his wake. The adventure continues for the warrior who walks alone, the hero who brings hope back to a dying kingdom, who instills fear in his enemies and respect among his friends. Scourge of the Stallions, generator of feats, activator of the creator's forgotten memories. The boy who came from beyond the source code travels astride his steed through a world that needs him. Many are the dangers that will ensue. Many decisions will need to be taken. He will die and be reborn and will rest in power and his code will become stronger. The game will never stop. And then the story will become legend, and all will talk of its code, and this boy, through the cycles of cycles, will be known as Narita Boy. Oh cool, we got a full heal. And we got shoulder bash. Servo horse, jump to dodge enemies and obstacles on the ground, hold down to shoulder bash to go faster. Damage enemies and jump greater distances. Extend the duration of shoulder bash and wipe out your enemies. You can also stop shoulder bash by releasing the button. Kill a whole string of enemies with sh uh, shoulder bash to earn a life. Okay, cool. Boom. Oh, okay, we, we gotta actually jump over the spikes. We can't shoulder bash those. We do gotta time this a bit better, too. Okay. Ow. Okay, that was good. I think I got some life from that, but I also took a bunch of damage. Ow. Uh. Oh god, this is harder than it looks, is how I would describe this. Is that the end? No. Of course not. Is this gonna be my Donkey Kong Country uh, cart sec minecart section? Oh, thank you for the heal. Thank you so much. Boom. Okay, that was bad. Oh god, I'm really bad at this! Heal, please? Ah! Rest in Fuck me. Uh, I'm not going to be good at this, everyone. We might be here for a minute. And it's a long section, too. I'm just... It goes really fast when you use the shoulder, shoulder bash. Okay, we don't need to worry about those. Not right now. Shit. Now we do. Okay. We're going a little bit better, I think. We got a little bit of HP from that. Okay. Jump. Jump. We can do this, Servo Horse. I believe in us. We're doing a lot better on HP this time. Which makes me feel better. Unfortunately, this is where I started to die last time. Everything fell apart. Right here. Damn it. Yep, and everything's falling apart again, too. Come on. Let me get back to the game that I know. This is for healing up. Did I do it? I think I might have done it. Maybe. Get him, servo horse. Yeah, there we go. Oh boy. Come on. Let's go, buddy. Oh, hi. Ah, uh, this is a... Yeah, we can get off here. Not Server horse is cool. Not quite as cool as Agra from Shadow of the Colossus, but still pretty cool. Oh, I just realized I have three charges uh, on my sword now. Interesting. I don't know where I got that third charge, honestly. Where did I? 
I thought that it was that we were gonna get a charge for each one of the legendary heroes in the different uh, colored regions here, but no. Oh well, we hit that. Creator's cave. I like how the things are just his face. His program really likes him. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Boom, 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 whoop. Boom, 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 boom. Who else? Who else wants some? All right, so we hit the switch, now what? Maybe the creator's been in the entire region. What does that allow me to do? Do I have to ride you now? Did I like open a gate and we can only progress with you? Is that what happened? Oh, we gotta go in there, okay. Yeah, with Servo Horse specifically. Okay. Didn't know that was going to be the case here. Gallery of the Sacred Tree. Yeah, this was uh, what somebody wanted a clipping from, too. If I remember correctly. Hello, friend. Narita Boy, Trichroma Hero, Scourge of the Stallions. You've got here just in time to protect our sacred tree. It represents the embedded metafunction. It's as old as the yellow horse beam. The yellow house beam. <laughs> yellow horse beam. Long lived and dormant like Akim Nung String the Horseman. If the stallions erase the sacred tree code, we'll lose all hope and will wither like the leaf events at the end of their cycle. That's why you have to climb its trunk and invoke its power, weaving your lines of code together. When the sacred tree feels the trichroma within you, it will know it is you, our hero, and will weep with joy, and sending leaf events fluttering down on the servo horse. And then your steed will rise up and walk with you, together in tandem, in symmetrical symbiosis, and you will lift the Techno Sword, more inspired and powerful than ever. And once on high, you will bring it down upon the stallion's heads, because it doesn't matter if the floor is sullied with stallion bites. All that matters is that they are erased, expelled, never to return. Quite the speech. So I'm gonna make it rain stallion blood is what you're telling me. Yeah, and we can't go in there yet. Alright, so let's just go up here. Hello. I will pray. Press X repeatedly, we gotta get to the top of the sacred tree. Alright, sacred tree, I'm coming for you. Narita boy is coming. Oh, is this the top of the... Oh, that's that's the top of the sacred tree. That's it. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to have to send something much taller. Are you super overclocked now? Boom. Servo bot. Oh my god. What? I have a mech? I have a mecha. Look at me. Look at my mecha, Servobot. Servobot has all Narita Boy's basic moves. Jump, attack, dodge, shoulder bash, uppercut. Servobot also has an extra attack called downstab that allows you to attack from above. Hell yeah, look at that. Oh, hell yes. I'm very ready. Die. Chop. Chop, chop, chop. All of you die. You don't have the shotgun. You said it had all of my abilities, but it doesn't have the shotgun. Alright, can we dodge? We can dodge, and we do have our shoulder bash. Die, nerds. I can't do the home run either. So, we are missing some of our abilities. Nothing super crazy, though. Oh, there's gonna be bl there's gonna be bites spilling all over the place over here. All y'all are dead. Come at me. I am in a giant mech now, and I am not afraid to use it. Can my shoulder bash kill people? It hurts. Tertiary gallery. All right, we got a boss fight. Is it against the dragon? I'm gonna fight a dragon with a mech. Oh yeah. Our Lord Him has told us about you, hero of the Forgotten Kingdom. You defend the weak houses of the Trichroma against a far more powerful enemy than yourself. You are the echo of a code deprecated by its own creator. 
We are the supreme beam, the one that will reign over the others, because the red beam that him hacked is the future. The ultimate code that will overpower all the houses of the digital kingdom. A dominant power forged in the dark core of ancient petabytes. Bow down to the force of the stallions, Narita boy. And prepare to die. Alright, let's go. Dragon bot. Uh. I'm too slick with it. Huh. Too slick with it. Okay, you got me that time. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Get in there. Out of here. Boom. Die, you idiots. Okay, you're pretty invincible now. There. I killed your friends, now what? You know, your, your friends you summoned are kind of useless, you know that, right? Okay, now you're dragon form again. Uh, we have the... Okay, I gotta use that. I thought I did it there, but it didn't work. Uh, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Get out of there. Boom, boom, boom. Big damage. Eat shit, dragon bot. You're no match for my mecha. I am too good. And I have the power of the, the god and anime on my side. I was gonna say the Nakama, I'm Nakama, but... I do have the power of god because I'm the creator and all that. And I guess we have the power of anime. Alright, goodbye, goodbye, mecha. Alright, clap, clap. Alright, that created weird platforms for me? Odd. Ah, okay, so this is just another creator memory. Yes. We got it two in one video. Huh. Pretty, uh, pretty quick progress being made here. I'm down with it. Cool. Uh, yeah, now we actually gotta press it again to open it. I wish I would just open the first time. In we go. Liberate the creator's memories from the entire region. Let's see what we got here. So, I can't keep up with these numbers. Are they kanji? Is that... Is this kanji? I don't, I don't know enough about Japanese to say yay or nay. So... Yeah. Oh, you look different in the background now. Are we in like your teenage years now? You're not a kid anymore? Might be the case. I remember moving to an apartment in a neighborhood near the North American base. Noisy soldiers broke the early morning calm. Who is, is that your dad? Father abandoned himself to the melancholy and slipped into an ethereal world of alcohol and silence. Yeah. Sounds about right, sadly. And here you're writing code. I remember those hot nights and the strange symbols I started to write on the wall. Patterns from an arcane kingdom beyond this dimension. Ah. So wait, you didn't create this? You were- these were communicated to you? Weird. If so... Um, where are we going now? Oh, is this open now? No? Where- where are we going? I'm lost- oh, okay, we're exiting now. Okay. Okay. I- I always do that. I always do that, because you hold right trigger to run in those sequences, but then when you get back out here, everything's back to normal again. So I always make that mistake. Write the creator's memories from the entire kingdom. Portal to try for your occasion. Oh, cool, we just get a fast travel back here. Alright, so that's the yellow desert kingdom down. So, now what? Yeah, we've already defeated Black Rainbow. Liberate the creator's memory. Head for Trifurcation, Trifurcation the opening of three portals. Free the three houses of Trichroma. So, now we need to go to the second one, which was the red house, right? Unless we're going to blue first. 
Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna go to blue first. It makes sense, because red's like their headquarters, right? That's what they keep mentioning, the red beam. They love it. The blue ensemble channel. Or ansible channel. I don't know. I don't know if it's... I don't, I don't think that's, that's not ensemble. That's ansible. Like, uh, the JavaScript thing, ansible. Arrival at the house of the blue beam. Path to the onsen. Yay! I want to go to an onsen! Path to TIC, Tourist Information Center. Let's talk to you, see what you want. Motherboard. Narita boy, welcome to the House of the Blue Beam, home of the Technocrats and the Blue Clan. Remember that your mission is to free the Creator's memories that emerge from the code of this region. Head for the Onsen, the Thermal Baths. Inside them is one of the memories that needs to be freed. Alright, let's go to the Onsen. I am going to go a little bit longer on this episode, because I don't have enough time to record a whole nother episode. But I do have time to make this one longer, so I'm just going to make this one longer. So we'll probably go for like 45 minutes, maybe. Alright, we got a teleporter that's not active, and we need codes to input into it once it is active. Access to the onsen has been sealed off, a powerful stallion has appeared inside, and emergency protocol has been activated. To enter, you'll need two access... Techno Keys, the Technocrat's Techno Key, and its sister Techno Key of the Blue Clan. As a member of the Progressive Committee, I can tell you that the Technocrat's copy is with the receptionist in the Tourist Information Center. Okay, I get a hold of the access keys for the Onsen, which is over there, apparently. Yeah, and here's some more stuff over here. Alright, so we gotta go. We came all the way over here. And immediately have been pointed in the other direction now. Thank you, Motherboard, for that. I feel like a lot of this game is going to one place, getting told go to go somewhere else, like... You can say that about a lot of games, but it feels especially prevalent in this, like... It's a lot of just back and forth, and... I, I don't, I don't want to say fetch quests, but there is a lot of just walking around, where I feel like some of that could be taken out. Just walking to one point, talking to a character, and then immediately getting sent somewhere else to talk to a different character. Warning, Rem remember that in any of the blue simulation functions and events like this puddle, for example, only programs from the House of the Blue Beam can interact with it. Our code is not prepared, and as a result, there will be conflicts at a deep level, including collisions, physics, algorithms, etc. I'm sorry I can't be more precise, but it's a highly complex matter. In fact, I wrote my thesis on this problem in the Capitals Trinary University. In any case, jump over the puddles if you want to avoid complications. Good luck. Okay, so don't fall in puddles, because we don't know how to swim. It's basically what you just told me. What is this? Oh, this is the Information Center. Oh, Narita boy. Welcome to the Tourist Information Center, TIC. This program that is sobbing uncontrollably is the receptionist. He's responsible for dealing with all the programs who opt for a few days' peace and quiet in the healing waters of the Onsen. The only healing waters are the House of Blue Beam in which the programs that don't belong to that house can bathe. But he won't be able to tend to you or give you the Technocrat Techno Key, one of the two copies that are used to enter the Onsen. What's happened is that ever since the Stallion invasion, the receptionist has been calling his brother program the Lighthouse Keeper, but he's not returning his calls. He says that his brother's always answers and thinks, therefore, that something must have happened to him. If you want to unlock this situation, you'll need to go to the Lighthouse and find out what really happened to the Lighthouse Keeper. See, this is what I mean. Like, we, we just went to the left, and they were like, go to the right. And then we come to the right, and now they're like, okay, go further to the right. This is, this is what I mean. It feels weird. I think it's the only chance to pull his brother program out of his trance, so he'll give you the key to the onsen. You need this key because within it is the corrupt memory of the creator that you need to free. Alright. Rita boy, listen to the authentic sound of the blue house beam. Our Taiko sensei composed it in a moment of introspection bound up in the techno-musical union of our current cycle. Every bite of it moves me, inspires me, and activates subroutines within me that I didn't even know existed in my code. I'm going to give you some advice. Before that door was closed, I saw a power-up commented with your code. If it is what I think it is, this power-up will be very useful to you on Floppy Island. Oh, my brother program, why him? A good technocrat program that devoted to others who sheds light on those lost in the thick fogs of the blue simulation. Oh, why him? Alright. Uh, access to the Grotto of the Ancient Ones. So we can't go there. So, yep, this leads to the lighthouse. Grand Sculpture of the Dude. <laughs> This game does have funny humor in a lot of places. Um, so I'm still having a really good- I'm really, still having a pretty good time with it. It's just a bit weird how- how much of the game is like, Go here! Okay, now go here! Okay, now go here! Okay, now go there. Alright. Dude. 
the digital hero is among us. I'm Ogai Rain, one of the three legendary Trichroma dudes. I'm the protector dude of the Blue House Beam, but up against the Stallions, my powers are not strong enough to protect the programs of my house. But I can be of great help to you if you're up for it. My legendary dude code will merge with your digital hero code, then every time you summon me, I'll come to help and eliminate any enemies causing you problems. You know that summoning your trichroma energy must be sufficiently high to communicate with my code. Ah, uh, if you find my room, it's not quite as untidy as that of my buddy, Tayo Beam. You'll find a fraction of the backup copy of the creator's first memory. Come on, time is of the essence. May the trichroma be with you. Alright, so I can use you now. Ugin Rain and Wild Blue Fire. When you charge up the concentration bar to the max, uh, Blue Wildfire will activate for a limited period of time. In this mode, you'll inflict a lot more damage on enemies. Color wildfire. Yeah, see, I don't know how to up the concentration bar, though. How do? It says right stick to the right. Is I, I don't know. Post tutorial. What about the other one? Oh, that's how we do it. Okay, okay, wait. Yeah, okay, I get it. I'm sorry. Everyone's probably like, you're a fool. So if I activate that when I'm fighting blue enemies, I'll just do more damage to them. Okay, I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> I'm very sorry. That was my bad. Okay. Made it, the lighthouse. Okay, so boom. So this is just, this just makes stuff harder too though. Um, I gotta keep that in mind because they do more damage to me as well as me doing more damage to them. Which it is nice being able to one hit them, but okay. Uh, no, you don't. Let's go ahead and heal up here. Yeah, I know. Yellow wildfire. I, I was totally missing that before. Right stick to the right just... I don't know. It wasn't an input that I really thought about. Uh, oh, no. This one. God, he did that just in time to do a lot of damage to me. That was my fault. Okay, now, now I get it more. I get it. I get it. I'm sorry. Everyone's probably screaming like, oh, use the thingy, but honestly, it seemed like I was doing just fine without using it. It's just enemies took more hits. We embrace the sacred tree program and bathe. Blue clan embraces the inner path that flows strongly through the source code's mysterious lines. All right, you guys are just chanting, I think. I don't need to listen to all that. North Coast Bridge. Are we at the lighthouse? Chaos. Okay, well... Oh, I was gonna try and get around you. Oh, we get you to swing your sword. Okay, I was gonna try and get around your... your shield. There we go. So we just hit you and dodge your attack. And we can beat the shit out of you. While you're doing all that. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, oh, I'm full health. I was like, why, why isn't this working? There we go. Dead. Cool guy rain. There we go. Cool. Could use one of those because I had a full charge on this. Um. Bang. Oh, so if I have a meter, it it'll use that instead of allowing me to charge the concentration bar. It seems. Yeah, it won't let me charge the concentration bar now. So if I have a meter, I can't use it? What's going on here? Yeah, I can't... Oh, wait, it's right... Okay, never mind. I was pressing D-pad. <laughs> I'm getting the controls mixed up. Never mind. Never mind. Just a, just a fool over here. Nothing to see. The lighthouse. You know, it's a long-ass walk to this lighthouse. You do realize that, right? Hi? Oh, hi. Can I... Yeah. Oh, okay, and you're gonna take me across. Cool. That's a very pretty looking sail on the boat. The docking code. We have made it to the docking... Well, we haven't quite made it to the docking code yet. We're almost there, though. There we go. The Rita boy. Contemplate the majestic ruins of the technocrats who abandoned progress. Skyscrapers, entire cities, and technologically advanced neighborhoods used to stand here. The programs from the Blue House Beam used to be called technocrats. Agent that managed, agents that managed huge databases, studying the trichroma and iterating through its code. 
that was ever more complex and close to that of the capital, but at its technological peak came a paradigm shift, a split. Some technocrats abandoned progress, gradually beginning to deprecate it and began to meditate by the sacred trees, weaving a less complicated code that was more connected to the elegant and ancestral functions of the blue simulation. They transcended the apparent and stopped looking outward in order to focus on the inner, subtle and powerful and tangible. And they stopped building cities to compile sacred trees, powerful programs profoundly immersed in the blue simulation, our source code. They called themselves the Blue Clan and abandoned progress, leaving behind their technocrat suits and letting their skyscrapers and city become bug-ridden through lack of repair and turn into the ruins you see before you now. For the technocrats who didn't embrace the Blue Clan's, Clan's new wave, there was a choice. There was no choice but to immigrate to the capital of the Digital Kingdom. From there, they monitor the Blue Beam code. They help their brothers from the Blue Clan and work with agents of the capital to manage the data of the Digital Kingdom. Alright, so they basically stopped being scientists and stuff and just became re religious zealots? I mean, I'm not gonna judge. It's an interesting idea that they they may have become so technologically advanced, but, they're, but they hit the point where they were like, what is the point of all of this? Maybe we should turn to spirituality instead, because that made them feel better. Maybe they hit the ceiling of what you could possibly do with technology, and then they needed more, so they turned to spirituality. Always an interesting idea. Scripter has switched off or out of range. Ever since the lighthouse went out, the fog event has used up space and limitless bitrate. Sailing any further than this point is very dangerous. We cannot come with you. This boat is ramshackle. We are told to bring you here to the island of the compiler. He'll explain to you how to progress. Okay. I noticed the game didn't save right there. Press X repeatedly? I'm gonna need a save point, Narita boy. Hi, it's a whale. I think. That was a big fishy. That was a big fishy. There, okay, maybe that's not something we're supposed to do right now. Hello. Welcome, I'm the compiler. I will compile the legendary floppy board on which you'll be able to soar through the waters of the blue simulation. Oh man, we're gonna be a surfing? You must use this transcriptor, the ancient portal ensemble that will take you to Floppy Island. The place where the floppy board code was programmed. You must find the programmers who created the floppy board code. Bring me back its code compiled in a techno key and I'll take care of generating a functional and stable copy for you. We look for the compiler techno key to create a copy. Use the transcriptor to travel to Floppy Island. All right, and we saw the whale. So right up there is our code, and then the whale has the last piece of the code, I noticed. So many codes. So yellow, three dots. Uh, blue, three dots. And red, I think it was a square. I'm not gonna go through the whole rigmarole of summoning the whale again. I think it was a square. So we got yellow, red, blue. That was right. Cool. I did the thing. I did the thing, everyone. No save? Display information? <sighs> Come on! Save! I didn't quite want this episode to go on this long. I mean, we're about, we're about at 45 minutes, so I'm looking to end it. Not keep going. Ah, oh, now I gotta make all these jumps again, because I walked into a damn puddle. How rude. There we go. We made it. And jumped the puddle this time. Uh, access to the cavern of the well? Well, what's up here? I can't help but wonder. What is up here? East hillside? Oh, hi. Uh, ow. I was trying to dodge. I didn't do it in time. There we go. Go ahead and heal up now. No, you don't. Die. Be easily. Boom. Oh no. Uh. Uh. God. God, stop that. Please stop. Oh, God. Die. Shit, they comboed me to death. Let's go ahead and pop this. A witch?
Here you. Ow! No. No, die. Bang, bang, bang. Heal up. Ow. I jumped! Damn it! I swear I pressed A in time there. Okay, it's dead. Okasan, Mother. Okay, I think the game just saved right there, right? It usually saves after combat, so... I think we are gonna go ahead and end this episode of Narita Boy off here. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.